up during six months of the year, you know. Swedish summers are fine and Stockholm is lovely when... So it's always dark in Sweden? It can't be always dark in Sweden. Can't be. Can't be. But you, cause you know... Yeah. I'm a dog, I pull up a bitch. Trying to cut out my neck on my head. Every show I'm moving with sticks. Ow! Hey, you know what it's about to be on that mountain late at night, you know what I'm saying? If you're not you're not on that look now, join the key comfort and the key climbing gang. We gotta get on top of that mountain now. Roll to honey K. Shout out to my Swedish gang! All my Sweden people, all my people, all my Swedish people, all to the gang, you know what I'm saying? Yay! Yeah! Turn your head like this. Now look, man, we got a banger video that was sent in by a family member, you know what I'm saying? If request a video, if you part of the family. And we, we wrote to 100K, request a reaction. But my last Sweden video did really good. You guys showed so much love. I love you guys. And I'm just learning, like you said, your favorite American is learning. Your favorite American is learning. I'm learning different countries, different cultures, different vibes, di different atmospheres, different continents. We're going crazy, man, because I'm tired of the U.S. I'm tired of everything in the U.S. It's time to get out the U.S., man. Free Rick in the comments and free Grandma, because y'all know Grandma doing 50 years because she was outside McDonald's twerking for a large sweet tea. But look now, we got 10 things. I hate about living in Sweden from, uh, you know I gotta get credit to the channel, the fish slappy, slappy, um, they say y'all say he does really good videos and some of y'all subscribe and y'all also sent me, um, his video about 10 things I like about it, he loves about in Sweden or something like that, so I will react to that one next. Well, let's just jump right into this reaction, you know what I'm saying, 10 things I hate about living in Sweden, now all these things are new to me. So, it might surprise me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I might, be, I might say, damn! But, you know what I'm saying? But, your favorite Americans, black! And my black toes are still black. Let's go crazy. It's way too... It's what filled. the fuck? A while ago, I made a simply incredible video about 10 reasons why I like living here in Sweden. So, we're going to do that video next. Now, y'all comment down below. But fuck it. I mean, the internet is way too... It's filled with way too many positive things as it is. So I thought I'd make another video uh, explaining, you know, talking about 10 reasons I really hate living in this fucking country. <laughs> so for instance... Damn, he said it. He, sound, he said that with like some, some ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sweden can't be that bad as living down here in the USA. Y'all know down here it's, it's terrible. Richest goddamn country and the worst, one of the worst, we suck down here. Between about October and March, most of Sweden, for most of the time, is covered in complete soul-crushing darkness. Swear to God. Sweden dark as hell? It's pitch black down there? Just don't show up during six months of the year, you know? Swedish summers are fine, and Stockholm is lovely when... So it's always dark in Sweden? It can't be always dark in Sweden. Can't be. Can't be. But you, because you know, because shit, nigga... So, you know, I... I don't know about that. That sounds like a good thing and a bad thing because, hell, you know, it's probably always cold then, huh? Y'all come, is it always cold in Sweden? Because I know in the UK it's always fucking cold. That's why they be wearing them goddamn t n n Nike Tech fleeces and take all the goddamn bubble coats. Comment down below, do Rick need a coat to go to Sweden? Y'all comment down below right now, let me know. Y'all let me know. Is out, you know, but this doesn't make up for the months of depressing shit that's being pushed down your throat during the winter months here, in my opinion. There's a reason Swedish people are known to just stand in the sun for a while during the spring. You know, every Swedish person is essentially a fucking Dark Souls character. Wow. Now, so it's always dark and cold. Y'all comment down below if it's always dark and cold. The two might have to, something to do with this darkness um, because it's sort of, it's mirrored in the people as well. <laughs> it's a very known cultural thing here in Sweden that Swedish people have this sort of ice cold barrier around themselves, you know, that is very difficult to crack socially. This does not apply for Swedes living abroad. So wait, y'all anti, so a lot of people anti-social down there? Because a lot, all my Swedish people was nice. They all seem like some nice people down there in the comments. You know what I'm saying? People that I, I got to comment back and forth with in the comments on my last video. Y'all seem like some nice people. Y'all dark? Y'all antisocial? Interacting with other Swedes or Swedes in Sweden interacting with foreigners. So unless you're also a Swedish person watching this, this is like impossible for me to prove. <laughs> and if you are Swedish, then 
I iced. Um, but yeah, there's something going on between Swedes, or rather there's nothing going on between Swedes. It's good in the sense that Swedish people have very high respect for people's, you know, personal space and stuff. But, you know, r random interactions with state strangers is a big fucking no-no. Most Swedish people- Damn, so you do not want to come in contact with a random person in Sweden? rather run a cheese grater along their gooch than have eye contact with a stranger on the tube, you know? Next what? one, Sweden is fucking tiny. And there's gonna be like lots of unfair stuff in this video, but fuck it. <laughs> it can't help it, but you know, size matters to me. It's obviously all red. That's what she said. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, my bad y'all. But look, it's smaller hill in Sweden? I did not know this. It's smaller hill in Sweden. Comment down below these this shit. Is it, is it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my but also, I'm, I'm also doing a, uh, top places to visit video. I know somebody requested that for me to react to that video, uh, top places to visit in Sweden. So we're going to react to that and we're going to see if the, uh, that video say that is actually small. Penis is way bigger than a thimble. If you come from a town with a population smaller what? than the sub count for this channel, Kuevde, maybe? Uh -huh. Then uh, Stockholm might seem like a big city to you. Having lived in London and Tokyo, though, I don't think it is. I feel that big cities are the most open minded areas. You're surrounded by so many fucking people that it's impossible to feel alienated or out of place because there's always going to be someone who's even weirder than you are, you know? So, for instance, if I wanted to roll down the, a high street in London on, you know, roller skates dressed as a banana with a jukebox playing the Swedish national anthem shouting about how much I love my toast just right then people wouldn't look at me twice they've most likely seen something even weirder yeah, just yeah, like the same, earlier the same morning if I did the same thing on Drottninggatan however I would be on the local news for the next month the number four on this list damn, is I know tweet Nesmo <laughs> damn connected to this there are pretty much no 24 7 corner shops here oh inside. no no, nah, people in the USA gonna go crazy. Do you know how many people down here smoke weed and, 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 and get that drink at the corner store at night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be mother... Man. All the people I know today be smoking and drinking, hitting the corner store at 12 in the morning, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. I'm talking about pitch black, still up, need to be in the goddamn bed. We trying to go to the corner store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gonna, yeah. Sweden gonna have motherfuckers in the USA mad. Cause our corner, we got 24-7 shops, 24-7 food joints, 24-7 uh gyms. Yeah, 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 we got it made down here in the USA. I give it to us when it comes to uh 24-7 stuff. We got a lot of 24-7 stuff. Yeah. This sucks the anus. One of the things I miss the most from living in both London and Tokyo is that you could just pop down the corner at any time during the day and then buy Whatever you need. This probably has to do with the sort of excellent yeah, Tokyo trying to get worker. that Tokyo trying to get that yen. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo, hey, we trying to get that yen. Them shops, in the, even in America, we trying to make that money. We need that bread. That moolah. But you know, money is very evil now. You need to, y'all need to stop worshiping that goddamn dollar with the motherfucking man on it. Lights yeah, and yeah, conditions here in Sweden. We don't want to force people to work awkward hours too much. But still, I do miss being pissed drunk and being able to buy some Reese's from the poor underpaid guy on the corner. You know, or to go there to top up on some beer and wine for the party in the fucking park. Which brings me to the next point. Jesus fucking system will log it. Number five. This is number five, yes. Now, the idea behind Sistian Bulagit is a good one, I suppose. But fuck me, it sucks. For those of you who don't know, it is not possible in Sweden to buy alcohol from regular shops. Like... What? And in pretty much every other country around the world. You can only buy alcohol stronger than 3.5% at a licensed pub or restaurant or at Sistian Bulagit, which is the... Damn. You know, down here, you can go into the corner store and get that expensive stuff the good stuff the the regular stuff the um, the cheap stuff you can get it at a corner store the liquor store and all you got to do is be 21 and then you go to the shop i go to but you know i don't go i, I went there to, to get a gift you know what i'm saying you boy don't be doing all that but i went there to get a gift by my look by my my, my my people's a drink and you know what i'm saying they don't even did you you can walk in that mug 12 years old at they shop and, and get whatever you need as long as you got a credit card or some way to pay for it yeah yeah but look i can't tell y'all the location i ain't trying to snitch or nothing so don't ask me what y'all need if anybody that know me and they watching this video don't ask me 
Don't ask me. I'm not snitching. I'm not a rat. State-owned company uh, with a complete monopoly on this ship. This is as close as we are to the socialist nightmare here, you know. So let's say, for instance, that me and my partner are in bed after some steaming hot sex, and what? we both crave a post-anal white Russian, you know. Then my brother can't simply pop down to the corner shop and buy some Kalua. We have to wait to the next date when Sistian Bulagat opens, you know. Unless it's a Sunday, because it's fucking closed on Sundays. Mm. This sucks. Now, I might have lost some of you in number five there with, you know, Damn. the reference to me and my brother having some sexy time. But let me bring you back to the moist what side the <laughs> by bringing up the Swedish housing market. Mm. This Let's shit is frustrating to the tits, you know. I slipped into this rental flat in central Stockholm on the biggest fucking rack maca you can imagine, you know. Most people my age either live outside the city or have incredibly rich fucking parents who have bought a, an apartment for them, you know. And if you want a bigger apartment yeah. than this one in this part of town, you will literally have to wait about 50 plus years <laughs> to get one. I went on a walk with my dad through one of these areas a while back and we talked about how literally the only people who were allowed to live there were people who signed up for the queue system S Corbia back in the fucking 90s. 1960s. Compare that to me getting a place to live in London after looking for about a week, perhaps, or like a month tops in Lo in, in Tokyo. Yeah, you know? so now I'm sure the London down might now. be shared with you know five other people, uh, one of whom is a mold monster that was born in the bathroom, and the Tokyo one might be you know 2.5 square meters big, but still. They were easy to find, at least. Now, number seven, uh, Felix Han. Grian can go fuck himself. Uh, number eight. This next reason is completely what the uh, hell? uncalled for. Y'all comment down below <laughs> what, I... just, what just happened right there. Don't... Who the hell is that? That's the, uh, the dude that, that's like the president or something? Y'all comment down below. You know, the black American don't goddamn know. That's the goddamn president. Swedish. It's, I don't know, or rather I don't really like myself speaking Swedish, I think. I feel very sluggish and boring. I feel that in Swedish I am not uh, I'm not able to... Okay, now he just hating y'all. Crushing, crushing, charming, charming, charming man that, man I, that I know that I really am. Probably because, <laughs> probably I, grew because up I grew up adoring, adoring British, British, English, and just frustrated, and just frustrated that nothing in Swedish, Swedish can ever come remotely, remotely close, close to sounding as charming as, as, charming as, as you know, uh, Hugh, Grant Hugh Grant in Notting Hill. Everything in Sweden is a bit too bit too much by the books. Now what, what the fuck do I mean by this? By now this, this, now, this yeah. is obviously wonderful when we're talking about in a fucking, in a fucking law, and law and order <laughs> and, <laughs> and people behaving in, 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 in the test studio, yeah. you know. Yeah. But sometimes, sometimes it can go a bit out of hand. Like, for, like, for instance, it is completely, it is completely unheard, unheard, unheard of to imagine, imagine like a Swedish, Swedish official, official, you know, going, you know, going ah, it's fine, we can sort of bend the rules a little bit to make this situation, you know, this car rental, for instance, or whatever, you know, just a bit more smooth for everyone. It's easier that way. That would almost never happen in Sweden. No, but this is like the rule or something. The, uh, this is the way to, to do things, you know. It's a Swedish law or something. For example, For example, it's, it's common in London to see big apartment, apartment buildings with different colored front doors. doors. There's, There's clearly, clearly no set idea or rule for what it should look like. Uh, this, uh, is uh, this is impossible. In I got different color front doors. Okay, that's, you know, I fuck with it. In like an, in like an apartment, apartment building, building, no one would consider, consider you know, painting their front, front door a different color than their, than their neighbors. If you did, if you, you, did you could end up in trouble with, breaking for breaking the local tiffs or some okay, shit. Okay, okay, now fine, I mean, I mean getting woken up by your flatmate in London who's had nothing to eat for the last week apart from injecting anthrax into his eyeballs. That level of fucking nuts is not ideal, perhaps. But I still think that Sweden could learn from that guy. Just a little bit. Let people paint their fucking doors, for instance. It won't hurt anyone. Or rather, or rather the people, people that will hurt to need to get over themselves real quick. Real quick you know? And number and 10, ten Jan de Lagen. Stop on us, pick point, fan, or the peace. Or the law of Jan de. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Dushka fan into what you are not. Essentially, you're not supposed to think you are anyone special. Fun, fun, isn't it? <laughs> the the other thing things that many people, people, people in, in, in not, not just Sweden, but like Scandinavia have adopted. And it's, and it's very, very much, it's sort of seeped, seeped into the culture, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay, fine. Okay, parts of it is great, it's like you're not, you're not supposed, supposed to brag. brag. No, one no one likes a, a fucking show off. It's the, it's the polar, polar opposite of American, American you know, you know everyone's a winner kind of mentality. No, everyone is a loser, and anyone who thinks otherwise is an obnoxious fuckface. Wow, that's how it is in Sweden? I don't want to go to Sweden in that Too many goddamn bragging motherfuckers in this bitch. Too many motherfuckers. Think they're better than everybody in this hole. Too many stingy motherfuckers down here. Too many. Down. Everybody want to be. Everybody don't want to give you the, the cake. Just give, me a, just give me a slice, brother. Brother, you going to eat the whole cake? Can I get a slice? 
Damn. Damn. Can't get a slice of cake. That's what, That's what it's like living in America. Damn. Damn. Uncle, Uncle Santa, Santa knocked, knocked on my door and, and instead of, and, and, and then he knocked he knocked once, once and then knocked, knocked the damn, damn door down. down. He could at least knock two or three times. God damn. And he done took all my goddamn money. I gotta get out of America, man. But that Sweden don't sound that bad. Now, out of all the things he just said, y'all, about, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that kind of threw me off a little bit was the non 24 7 corner stores, the alcohol thing, it being small, eight being dark. I mean, you go outside, it's dark. Dark as hell. Y'all comment down below what y'all think. And I need all my Swedish people to comment down below right now. And also join the Finland, join the gang, and request more of these videos, y'all, because I'm enjoying them. You should, you should behave, behave and be like, like everyone else, otherwise you're just a dick waving and show off, you know. So, so essentially, apart from the free health care, uh, the free university tuition, social security, welfare, five-week paid holiday, and very beneficial paternity leaves, uh, Sweden is just a horrible, horrible... Damn! Damn. You see what he just said? Y'all get free health care, free tuition, y'all get paid on holidays! Damn, you don't get that in America. Fuck! That's, that's, I'm ending the video, video right there, y'all. He, 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 that motherfucker there, he, shout, shout out to his video, his channel is down, the original be down below, but that motherfucker there is ungrateful. Because I wish we had that free health care, the free goddamn thing, you know what I'm saying? We paying taxes, and they just, well, we don't know where our money going to, because it ain't coming back to us. Damn, I gotta get out of the U.S., man. Y'all free Rick in the comments, comment down below the next sweet video. Shout out to my sweet and and hey, man. Oh, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Yay!